Let's factorize this expression. 6 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x. Now, do you know that 6 raised to the power x, 6 can be written as 2 times 3, and 9 can be written as 3 times 3. Why did I do that? I'm trying to look for a common factor between these two terms. So, 6 can be written as what? 2 times 3 raised to the power of what? x. Because of, we have an exponent of x. Plus, 9, 9 is the same as what? 3 times 3. And we have an exponent of what? x. Right? Now, do you know that this x can be distributed to these 2 and 3? Why? Because we have what? Multiplication sign here. This only works when, when there is multiplication or division sign. Then if you have addition or subtraction sign, this does not work. So this x can be distributed to these 2 and 3. So this will now be what? 2 raised to the power x multiplied by what? 3 raised to the power x. As you can see, I just distributed this x to 2 and 3. Plus, this x now, I, I will also distribute it to 3 and 3. So 3 raised to the power x multiplied by what? 3 raised to the power x. Now look at this. What is common between these two terms? You can see that 3 raised to the power x is common because we have it here and we also have it here. So we'll just factor it out. So it was 3 raised to the power x. We'll open a bracket. 3 raised to the power x divide what we have here. You see that if we cancel this here, we are left with 2 raised to the power x, right? Plus 3 raised to the power x divide what we have here. It will cancel itself and we are left with what? 3 raised to the power x. So this is the factorized term. I'll see you in the next video.